here at Mobile World Congress 2014 looking at uh, the design concept for the IBIS smartwatch which is designed to be a luxury smartwatch. So as you can see, there's a really uh, premium design right here. We have this nicely patterned uh, uh, band right here that kind of looks like a piece of jewelry much more than it looks like a watch band or a smartwatch. So this is a concept of what the watch face would look like. And this section right here would actually be an LCD touchscreen. This isn't a working model, this is just a prototype, but this tells you exactly what it would look like. And then you have a classic analog uh, watch face up here. So this is actually just a prototype of what the UI would look like. And this could uh, be built on Android or Linux, and it's designed to do very basic things like um, you know, list your appointments, um, deliver notifications about what phone calls you're getting to your wrist, text messages, emails. So you can see this is kind of what text would look like on the IBIS smartwatch. And although this prototype has buttons, um, the final model won't have any buttons. It'll, you'll uh, communicate with the watch entirely through touch and gestures. So as you can see, it's really simple to kind of just swipe through the UI to get from your messages and back to the home screen and things like that. So there's no word on pricing or when this will come to market because Crayor is still working with partners to kind of uh, finalize the details and eventually bring this to market. But as you can see, it's uh, one of the few watches out there that actually looks like something you'd really, really want to wear. That's been one of the biggest problems with smartwatches so far is that um, they kind of just look like a phone on your wrist. They don't actually look like a luxury item that you want to wear. So once again, we're here at Mobile World Congress looking at a concept for the IBIS smartwatch.